Hey guys, it's your boy here, back with another post to help you navigate the treacherous waters of dating and relationships. Today, we're tackling a topic that might seem counterintuitive at first, the benefits of living the solo life when things just aren't clicking with the ladies. I know, I know, it sounds crazy. But man, I can hear you saying, I thought the whole point was to find a girlfriend. Hear me out, though. Sometimes taking a step back and focusing on yourself can be the best thing you can do, both for your own personal growth and for your future success with women. Let's be real. A lot of us have been through the ringer when it comes to relationships. Breakups, rejections, endless swiping on dating apps with nothing to show for it. It can be exhausting and demoralizing. And often, if we're really honest with ourselves, Many of the problems and frustrations we're experiencing in our lives are closely tied to our relationship struggles. We're pouring so much time and energy into dead-end romantic pursuits that it's negatively impacting our health, our career, our friendships, our overall happiness and well-being. If you find yourself stuck in this kind of rut, it might be time to consider taking a break from the dating game and embracing the solo life for a while. I'm not saying you have to swear off women forever, but there are some real, tangible benefits to being single that can help you come back stronger, more confident, and more attractive to women in the long run. Let's break it down. Reason number one. You can judge women more objectively from the outside. When you're in a relationship, it's easy to get caught up in your feelings and start seeing your partner through rose-colored glasses. You overlook red flags, make excuses for bad behavior, and convince yourself that this is as good as it gets. But when you're single, you can observe relationships from a more neutral perspective. You start to recognize patterns and warning signs that you glossed over before. You develop better judgment and higher standards for what you want in a partner. Being on the outside looking in, you're better able to see the flaws and human imperfections in the women you're interested in. You're not blinded by infatuation or putting them on an undeserved pedestal. This clarity allows you to make smarter, more level-headed choices when you do decide to date again. You won't settle for mistreatment or incompatibility just because you're lonely. You'll know what you're really looking for, and you'll have the wisdom to wait for it. Reason number two. You start to value yourself and prioritize self-improvement. One of the biggest traps guys fall into is making women the center of their universe. When you're desperate for female validation and approval, you'll twist yourself into knots trying to be whatever you think women want. You'll hide your true self, sacrifice your own needs, and lose sight of your goals and ambitions. But when you take women out of the equation for a while and focus on your relationship with yourself, an amazing thing happens. You start to value yourself intrinsically, regardless of what women think. Instead of worrying about impressing chicks, you double down on becoming the best version of you. You invest time and energy into your health and fitness, your career, your hobbies and passions. You work on developing an unshakable sense of self-esteem and self-respect. You learn to meet your own needs and make yourself happy rather than looking for happiness in others. This shift in mindset is so crucial because it ensures that when you do meet an amazing woman, you'll be bringing your best self to the table. You'll be able to have a healthy, interdependent relationship, rather than a codependent one where you rely on her for your sense of worth as a man. Reason number three, you save massive amounts of time. Raise your hand if you've ever looked back at a failed talking stage, situationship, or LTR and thought, wow, I wasted so much freaking time on that. Let's face it, guys. Modern dating is a huge time suck, even when things are going well. Planning dates, constant texting, managing expectations, processing your feelings, arguing, making up, it all adds up. And if we're really honest, a lot of that time would be better spent on our personal development and building the life we really want. When you're solo, you suddenly have a lot more control over your schedule. All that time and mental bandwidth that was going towards dating is now freed up for you to use however you want. You can focus on crushing it at work and getting that promotion. You can hit the gym consistently and get in the best shape of your life. You can pursue a new skill or side hustle. You can spend more quality time with your friends and family. You're no longer at the mercy of someone else's needs and expectations. Your time is your own again, to invest in yourself however you see fit. Reason number four. You save money and can better manage your resources. 
Dating is expensive, there's no getting around it. Even if you're not splurging on fancy dinners and lavish gifts, the costs of going out, grabbing drinks, Uber rides, etc. can really add up over time. And if you're in a committed relationship, you're often splitting bills, going on trips together, buying furniture, all of which takes a big chunk out of your wallet. Now, there's nothing wrong with spending money on someone you care about. But if dating is burning a hole in your budget and holding you back from your financial goals, going solo for a while can help you get back on track. When you're single, you have complete control over your finances. You can focus on paying off debt, building up your savings, and investing in your future. You can make smarter, more strategic decisions about how to allocate your hard-earned cash. Instead of blowing $200 on a mediocre date, you can put that money towards a gym membership, a professional development course, or a trip with your buddies. You're no longer sacrificing your financial health for the sake of a relationship. You're putting yourself and your long-term security first. Reason number five. You spend your free time with people who truly add value to your life. Let's be honest. A lot of guys stay in lackluster relationships because they're afraid of being alone. They'd rather have some companionship, even if it's unfulfilling, than risk spending their weekends by themselves. But here's the thing. When you're single, you have the freedom to be much more selective about who you spend your time with. You're not obligated to hang out with your partner's annoying friends or waste a Friday night on a lame date. Instead, you can focus on nurturing the relationships that really matter to you. You can spend more one-on-one -on -one time with your best buddies, deepening those friendships and creating lasting memories. You can visit your family more often, making the most of those precious years with your parents and siblings. You can join social clubs and meet new people who share your hobbies and interests. The point is, you get to curate your social life based on what genuinely brings you joy and adds value, not just settle for whoever happens to be in your life romantically. Reason number six. You don't have to adjust to anyone else's preferences or lifestyle. Compromise is a natural and necessary part of any relationship. When you merge your life with someone else's, you have to find ways to accommodate their needs, habits, and quirks, just as they do for you. But let's be real. Constantly adjusting to another person's way of doing things can be exhausting, especially if you're naturally independent or set in your ways. When you're flying solo, you don't have to worry about any of that. You can live life completely on your own terms. You can keep your space exactly how you like it without worrying about someone else's clutter or decorating preferences. You can eat what you want, when you want, without considering anyone else's dietary restrictions or picky eating habits. You can come and go as you please, without checking in or coordinating schedules. You can watch what you want on TV, listen to your music as loud as you want, and generally just do you 24-7. That level of freedom and autonomy can be incredibly refreshing, especially if you've been in a lot of relationships where you felt like you were always bending to someone else's will. Reason number seven, you become more attractive to women by being self-sufficient and selective. Now I know what you're thinking, but man, won't being single make me less attractive to women? Don't they want a guy who's actively looking for a relationship? Well, yes and no. Sure, some women might be put off by a guy who's content being on his own, but for the most part, women are incredibly attracted to men who have their shit together and don't need a relationship to feel complete. Think about it. When you're thriving in your single life, taking care of yourself, pursuing your passions, and generally just living your best life, you give off a completely different energy than a guy who's desperate for female companionship. You exude confidence, self-assurance, and an air of mystery that women find irresistible. You're not trying too hard or coming across as needy because you're genuinely content on your own. You're not settling for just anyone because you know your worth and you're holding out for someone truly special. And here's the kicker. When you do meet a woman you really connect with, she'll appreciate you so much more because she knows you're choosing to be with her, not just latching onto the first warm body that comes along. She'll recognize that you have a full, rich life outside of the relationship and that you're not expecting her to be your everything. That kind of emotional maturity and independence is incredibly sexy to high-quality women. In conclusion, I get it, guys. Being single can feel like a drag, 
especially when it seems like everyone around you is coupled up and living their best lives. But trust me when I say that embracing the solo life, even just for a season, can be one of the best things you can do for yourself and your future relationships. By taking a step back from dating and focusing on your own growth and well-being, you give yourself the space to gain clarity, build confidence, and become the kind of man that women are naturally drawn to. You learn to value yourself intrinsically rather than seeking validation through romantic pursuits. You free up time, energy, and resources to invest in your own goals and ambitions. You become more discerning about who you allow into your life, both platonically and romantically. And perhaps most importantly, you develop a sense of self-sufficiency and contentment that is incredibly attractive to women who are looking for a true equal and partner. So if you've been spinning your wheels in the dating game lately, don't be afraid to take a break and focus on yourself for a while. Embrace the benefits of the single life and trust that by becoming the best version of you, you'll naturally attract the right woman when the time is right. Stay focused on your purpose, keep leveling up, and remember, the right one will come along when you least expect it. Until then, enjoy the journey and make the most of this solo season. You've got this.